Hello everybody and welcome to another modern tutorial Back from the dead, ignore everything I said in the last video I've got a Terraria series I'm working on currently which is going to take a long time and was scheduled to come out before this video except it ended up taking or started to take too long to edit I decided to get the modern tutorial done with first Now by second most popular request I'm doing a sword, uh, how to make a basic sword in T mod loader. The NPC was the, the top one, but there's something I want to do first before I do that, so that will probably be either the next one or the one afterwards. I'm also working on something called the Void mod, which is uh, going to be a very, very large mod, and I've been working on quite a lot recently, so that's going to be really good. It's going to add quite a few bosses. So we're going to go straight into the modern tutorial with the sword. By going in our items folder, we're going to create a new folder called uh, weapons. I'm going to move the file in here. I've already created it. Basically, uh, I just called it YouTube Sword, created a new text document, and I changed that into a CS file, like always. So now we're going to start by typing using Microsoft Microsoft dot XNA framework uh, using Terraria using terraria.id capital letters using terraria.modloader to start capital letters there so we're going to go namespace and then we're going to call we're going to call no our mod's called youtube mod so we're going to do that so you'd put your mod name in here and then dot and then whatever folders it is to get to uh, this this file so it's in an items folder and then it's in a weapons folder then that then you find the file so that's what you'd need to do I'm gonna open up some curly brackets public class I'm gonna call it YouTube sword and that's a mod item open more curly brackets public override Void, and then we're going to set the default of the items. Curly brackets again. Right, item.name, pretty self explanatory, you should know by now. We're just going to call it, actually, yeah, we're just going to call it YouTube Sword with a space in between. You are allowed spaces here, uh, but you're not allowed it in the actual file name or any of the class things here. Like that, we don't. Item.damage, ooh. Item dot damage. We're gonna give it a damage of like <laughs> I was gonna say a hundred. Make it more like forty-five. Just whatever you want it to be. Item dot melee equals true because it's a sword. And we've got item dot width and item dot height, and we're gonna leave those blank for now because we haven't got the texture yet. And we've got item dot tool tip and then you can put just whatever you want in here I'm gonna say uh, a sword for YouTube tutorial and then you can also put um, item dot tool oops, item dot tool tip 2 and then equals whatever and you can do something like that if you want it uh, then we're gonna do use time equals 20 item dot use animation equals 20 and you make those low value if you want faster higher value if you want it slower there you go item dot use style which is going to be one which is me like swinging it item dot knockback equals six because that's just a general value you can look up I think online like how much knockback it is if not just mess around with the numbers and see in game item dot value I'm not sure how well it works I'm gonna say do 100 and see what that equivalates to but again just mess around with that rarity is 2 so it won't burn in lava use sound is 1 which is the sword swing and item dot auto reuse because we want this to be a god can't spell we want this to be a uh, auto swing sword you know where you can just hold it down 
We now need to add a recipe for this, so we're going to go public... Oh god, I'm struggling. <laughs> public override void and then add recipes. It's pretty basic stuff now. Creating a basic item, you're just giving it a few different values here. And I'm going to add mod recipe. Ooh. Mod recipe. Recipe equals new mod recipe. And then in brackets, uh, mod. Go. Recipe dot add ingredient. And then in brackets, we're going to do terraria dot id dot item id. Uh, dot dirt block comma one just for testing purposes uh, I've actually missed out a semicolon there recipe dot add tile so this is if you want you know like workbench or whatever terraria dot id dot tile id dot I can't remember if it's workbenches what we we'll might have to come back to that later. I literally can't actually remember. I'm gonna put it as that. Um, and then recipe dot set oh, set result. And in brackets this. And then recipe dot add recipe to finish up the code. And then that is it done. How like we'll look at something in a second, but. If you wanted to use a custom tile or a custom uh, item, like ingredient from your mod, you'd replace this with what would be uh, null, comma, then in brackets there, uh, in brackets in speech marks the name of the item and not like this kind of name, the, the class name without spaces. So, for example, if I had an ingredient called steel ingot, it would have to be like that, and then null steel ingot, comma, and then however many you want. But I'm just going to use the blocks from Terraria for ease. Now that's all done, however, if you want something else on the sword, you can also do public override void on hit NPC, and then like there's quite a few, there's quite a few things you have to, you have to input here, so it's public, but public override void on hit npc and then in brackets you've got quite a lot of stuff here player player and we've got npc target int damage float knockback Ooh, that shouldn't be capitalized and then also bull crit so once we've returned all of that, uh, we need to put some more curly brackets. And then, basically, very simply, we're going to add a debuff. So we're going to put target.addbuff. Then, in brackets, buff ID dot on fire. And then we're going to add for the amount of ticks. And I believe it's 20 ticks a second, so that should last for 3 seconds. Uh, you can also look up on the internet, and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find uh, like the, the names, the IDs for the buffs, the buffs, and then you can add those in there. For ease, I'm going to just drag over the example sword file. I'm going to rename it to YouTube Sword. You can get the example mod off the official team mod loader thread on the wiki, on the wiki, on the forums, uh, where you can download the example mod, and it's literally got an example of nearly everything. It's really, really useful for figuring out the code. So that's the YouTube so done. So now if we switch over to Terraria, which I have loaded up here, we're going to rebuild our YouTube mod, create a new character here, call them YouTube Tutorial. Guy, really original names, you know. We've got mod tester, modded guy, and YouTube tutorial guy. Small world. YouTube tutorial world. There it is, our YouTube sword, 45 damage. It's fast, it's got average knockback, and it says the sword for YouTube tutorial. Quite averagely sized, 45 40. You can make it bigger if you want. You can make it 
bit smaller. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed the tutorial. You can vote in the description for what you want to see in the next tutorial, unless I'll be doing AI. I'll put that option back up to see if there's still a request for it. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, it's been like crazy how I still grow as fast as I am. It's like mind boggling to me. I'm trapped underground. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, which will either be the playthrough or another mod tutorial. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.